Hey guys, this is Bhagya Shighosh, a verified educator at an academy and you are in the course English Grammar Leveled Up and in this course, in this lesson, you are going to read about preposition and this is the third part of it. So guys, do enroll in the course, do give it a 5 star, comment your doubts, query, suggestion and upvote and share it among your friends and do rate the course a 5 star to it definitely. English Grammar Leveled Up Course 3. Let's get started. You can read more about me from here. And this is the link by which you can follow me and you can get access to my other courses on this platform. Preposition being the third part. It is a saying, right, that last and the best part. Similarly, it is the preposition last part of it. And you are going to see lots of things that will make your preposition clearer than before. So, starting. Starting with the forms of transport. Yeah, when we talk about transport, when we talk about means of transport. So, how we talk about? We use a by, we use plus noun. Why? Uh, I have written it like this because the thing to note is that before this noun, we will not use any kind of a and the. Yeah, this is the case. Example. We traveled by train. So by train we traveled. But we will not use any this language like you know, by the train, by a train. This is wrong. We traveled by train. So with what kind of transport we use the word by? With all the transports we can use the word by. By bicycle, by car, by taxi, by bus, by train, by boat, by ship, by plane by air, by sea, by road, etc. So these are all the way by which we use the preposition by for a transport. But the catch here is that all these things, all these transports are a common noun. Bicycle should be common, car, taxi, train. It should be a common noun. It should not be any proper noun. If I say, uh, if I name the taxi, if I take any taxi company name, then it will become a proper noun. If I say my car, so now since the car belongs to me, so now this is not a common noun, this will become a proper noun. If I say my friend's, uh, not train of course, my friend's car or my friend's bicycle, then again it becomes proper noun. So, if it is a common noun, then only this rule will follow that by plus noun, no a and the will be used. And the next case is when these words are a proper noun, they are, they are used in particular, they are used in specific things. Now, how will we talk about the transport in such a case? We will use the preposition on or in. We are not going to use by. So, we will not use by. Suresh went there on my bike. We traveled in Mr. Joshi's car. So preposition like on or in will be used. Now your question will be how will I know when I, when should I use on, when should I use in. Yeah, very true. See, on versus in in this case. On means a specific bicycle, bus, train, ship or plane. What I am trying to say is that if it is your bicycle, someone else's means it is a proper noun. Okay, If it is the case of bicycle, bus, train, ship or plane, then with these we will use on. But if it is a car, pay attention please, car, taxi, van, lorry or ambulance, we will use in. So we will say in a car, in a taxi. They came in a taxi. The two things to be seen here. In a taxi. And I have put A here. But in the previous case, I said that we are not going to put A and the. That case here is the case with by. But if we are not using by, we are free to use A and the as per the case. Okay, but it, we will be using it with all the rules and regulations. So, this is something worthy to be noted. Isn't it guys? So, let us see something else. Prepositions requiring special notice. Now, some of the prepositions. Special one. Now, 
while we talk about cities town or villages while we talk about living in that place or anything related to it we use two different preposition in and we use the word at so now let us again see how i have although i have told you about this before but it is something to be considered when we talk about in it shows an area but when we talk about at it just shows a point example we stayed in mumbai for 5 days now when i say in mumbai i want you to imagine the whole mumbai i want you to imagine the gateway of india i want you to imagine the taj hotel and i want you to imagine the bollywood and lots of things so the whole city the whole area i want to imagine i want you to imagine we stayed in mumbai for 5 days and when i say our plane stopped at mumbai on the way to iran so we were going to iran and on the midway our plane halted at mumbai here i have used the word on the way to uh, at mumbai why we okay we'll leave it 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 is at mumbai okay so at mumbai just means that that is mumbai as a point okay here mumbai is a point you can imagine that only mumbai airport don't imagine the whole mumbai i have not seen the whole mumbai i have just stopped at mumbai mumbai airport maybe mumbai so it is we are talking about a plane but we stopped at mumbai if i say it like it can be anything it can be bus station it can be railway station it can be like okay as a destination okay so it can be like this when we use the word at so this is the difference between the two how long have you lived in this village a question to be considered okay that for how long you are in this village so in this village so this was like this now let us see something else let us see at guys when we talk about any group activity when we talk about shops workplaces maybe it's a party maybe it's an occasion when we talk about where we are present okay and it is a group activity then preposition we use at we will not use any in any on no we will only use the preposition at did you see shobha at the party imagine a gossip between two ladies did you see shobha at the party she was looking gorgeous right like, like that so at the party so in party being in a category of a place having a group activities done so at the party right at the market at the shopping mall such kind of places there weren't many people at the meeting now meeting is something done in the workplace right so at the meeting there were less people i saw him at the bakers bakers what is bakers just a name of the shop what shop what i know because it's just a name what i know that what it is okay it's a name of a shop i just know that it is a name of a shop how do i know because there is an apostrophe yes i am an educator at an academy now this being a workplace for me if uh, if an academy is my workplace so at an academy like that so these are the examples where we use at like this now in with the name of streets at with the name of house numbers when we speak of when we speak about address guys if we are only naming the street if we are only naming our colony if we are only okay naming the place we live we will use in the preposition will be in but if we are naming the house number also now we with the complete address we are mentioning house number so we will use at He lives in Church Street. She lives at forty-five Church Street. So when I just named the street, so I said in Church Street. But when I told you the house number also, so now at forty-five Church Street. Look at the residence of the Prime Minister of India. PM residence is in Race Course Road. Race Course Road, located in New Delhi. Now, PM residence is at Seven Race Course Road. 
So now you know the house number of the PM also that in Racecourse Road the house number 7 belongs to the Prime Minister. So this is one of the examples. More example. We use on when we think of a place as a surface. So now just connect the preposition on with a surface and from now onwards you will be fully clear that where to use on and where to where not to use the word on the dog is lying on the floor imagine the floor as a surface on the floor put this picture on the wall now this wall don't see that ma'am it is erect it is standing yeah it is standing but it is imagine it as a surface so for a surface we use the preposition on on the wall the book is on the table why because the table is a surface so now i guess that from now onwards you will never ever be confused with the word on right now till and to relating to something just something to wordly wordful to be seen till signifies time to signifies place yeah he slept till eight o'clock now we know the time we kept on walking till dusk what is dusk means it is like dawn then morning then noon then evening then dusk then night that is dusk okay so we kept on walking till dusk he walked to the end of the street why i have used to because to the end of the street i am just uh, trying to signify a place right we went to eat burger yesterday so we went although i haven't told you that where i went but to eat burger yesterday that's why to okay so to signifies a place till signifies time next one used with to denote instrument and by to denote agent now instrument is something okay we understand agent what is it here he killed two birds with one shot so he ha he a person has killed two birds with what with one shot means with one bullet with one bullet fire he killed two birds so we will be using the preposition with now he was stabbed by a lunatic with a knife lunatic what is lunatic lunatic is someone who is of unsound mind hmm. so he was stabbed by a person having unsound mind you can say mad right he was stabbed by a lunatic by a lunatic but because this lunatic is is the doer is an agent with a knife knife is an instrument so now it is clear when to use with when to use by okay let us continue so this is the last part of it as i uh, every time i do this lesson has ended and here is again a task for you i have brought a question okay uh, a task having 10 questions each uh, not each okay having 10 questions now all the questions are having two two blanks each you need to do is pause it solve it and in the next slide the solutions are there so after counting three i am going to turn the slide so up to that uh, that time you can just pause it and you can just solve it and then you can match your answers with the question and if still you have any kind of doubt please do mention it in the comment with the correct question number okay so here i am turning the slide one two three so here's the solution for all the 10 questions given i hope that uh, most of the answers are correct okay so that's all for this preposition topic if you like it you will definitely rate it a five star do comment how you like if, even if you dislike you can write that also you have any question you have any query you have any doubt please do comment it down below up for the course if you like guys enroll in the course if you not have enrolled in the course because when you enroll yes you get timely notifications of it on your mobile phone and the link by which you can follow me and get access to my other courses on this platform so that's all for a preposition topic the next topic is going to be on conjunctions conjunctions i will be finishing the conjunctions in two lessons and after conjunctions there will be interjections so that's all for today 
थैंक यू वेरी मच दिस इज भाग्यश्री घोष साइनिंग ऑफ फ्रॉम अन अकेडमी